And welcome everybody to another episode of Near Automata. And well, we're questing today. And maybe an achievement if I get around to it. The achievement is I've got to ride an animal for five kilometers. Let's see what this quest is. So I don't recall seeing it. That's actually a good question. Done. Okay, uh, let's see here. What's next on our objective list? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well, we've got. Three in the village. Hmm. We've got that one there. You know what? Let's go track that one, then we'll go after the village. It is a cavern caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a yeah. huge cavern beneath the city? Because there was a hole there? That's a weird looking enemy. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. You know, for a second there I thought that the standing guy and the snake were the same unit, and I was like, yeah, no, that, that would be a little bit of a weird enemy. Okay, so looks like I need to go deeper still. Which means I probably need to go all the way down there. I figured I'd check. Uh, 
guess not. Okay. Oh, there's not a ladder down here right now. Well, guess we're going to battle Nad Mini. This hallway looks pretty old. It should be good for everything up until Sunken City, so. At least with the fast travel and able to speed things up a little bit. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? Probably part of I don't know. Force. There's nothing like it in the database. To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. Neil, I was almost expecting a different cutscene. <laughs> and we're facing off you. the same <laughs> Aren't you quite the pair? Perhaps we can discuss our current situation. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become... Aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon? Now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They kill uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity, and now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. You trying to hack and see that it works. No, guess not. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Wait, was there a hologram there? Um, the aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Yeah, no, hold. You can. 
I could have sworn I saw a hologram of some sort of girl there. Just off to the side from where Adam and Eve were standing on the left hand side. I swear there was a girl there. Eh. Maybe I'm going crazy. Double check in here, just to make sure there's nothing hidden. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago. But I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Right. That's the uh, other city. Check in here, at least we got the ladder in place. Okay. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Technically, if it's expensive, that means you have an economy. Okay, so... Uh, let's go to the resistance camp. I'm actually going to hold off from going to the bunker just simply so I don't have to deal with the continuing the storyline just yet because, well, there's plenty of doing a bunch of the side quests and get them done. But I didn't know jumping down here would, uh, well. We need to find right someone there. wearing a red hood. Did two, yeah, I think we did two of them before. Hmm, these places look familiar. One looks like the amusement park, one looks like the desert, and one looks like the forest. Let's keep uh, our hello. eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. First of all, Red Hood.
Okay, so we gotta go. Out there. Sounds like that red hood was a gift of some sort. Gifts are such a useless ritual. Wow, okay. Where'd that come from? It's rude to give a person something without their permission. What if they don't want it? Mmm, I think it's more about the feeling behind it than the actual <clears throat> item, right? Feelings are prohibited. Yeah, yeah. One affirmation will suffice. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Operator 210 to 9S. Come in, 9S. I'm here. I've sent you a new data retrieval request. Please read it. Over. Hey, wait just a... She didn't even give me a chance to turn her down this time. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Oh, item. Blank. So that's how we get into the back room. Marking objects likely to be the targeted packages. I can't get them out like this. Ugh. Better make a path first. Uh, let's see. We've got an item kicking around over there, and it looks like a chest. Interesting. Well, let me do the, uh... Hmm. Okay, so you won't let me pull it. Okay, that should be all of the packages. And there we go. You know, I never figured out how to get that item outside last time I did this. Talk to Tubi, I want to talk to the quest. Why do they need an ability for us to target? Okay, so we got that done. Next, I think, is... You know what? We should probably hit the bunker, simply because that way we can get access to the jungle. I came in here for the item. <clears throat> okay. Here's the weird cutscene I was expecting earlier. I killed my father. I killed my mother. I killed my father. I killed my mother. And in his hand, he coldly gripped both the J 
joy of growing up and the agony of being alone. Okay. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but that cutscene was... odd. Let's go with odd. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. No, Why don't let's... we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I've already done that at least once. No. Overall, we're going to the desert, so. Let's see. Uh, desert camp. Technically, our original body is still in the crater. <laughs> Our red-hooded target should be in the desert. Stay alert. She could be our killer. But there's only one female resistance member at the desert station. Hmm. I don't see her. Let's ask that guy over there. We already got the jackass fish ending, so we don't need that. Looks like there's an item chest over here somewhere. Probably on top of the building. Yep. to tell us. Oh, that one's actually up high. Okay. That's not where we are. That's Pascal. This is the desert. there. I'm actually going to go investigate that chest I'm seeing on the mini-map. Hmm. 
So that's up top. up there but it doesn't look like it wants me to get access to it hmm yeah no it doesn't want me to get access to this method okay so it probably wants me to go along there I'll have to figure out how to get up there at some point. <laughs> hmm. Should be a way to get up there. It's kind of annoying me at the moment, but mm, I'll live. Okay, so let's uh, go hit this excavation. Okay, maybe it's through this cave. Guess that's not it. Oh. Okay, so you're down in here somewhere. here. an exit so it's not there. You know, let's just go double check where that sword was.
There we go. Okay, time to find a way out. Alert. The description of a female resistance member with red hair matches that of our client. But if it's the same person, why would she have had the killer's hood? Hypothesis. The red-haired resistance member is either the killer or an accomplice. Let's go talk to her. that afterwards. I got some other work in the desert here to do. Okay. Uh, which way is it? The actual desert? I think it's this way. Now I'm lost. Well, it's either this way or the other way. That's this way. You can tell because of... Well, at least I can tell because of the pipe. Looks like we've got at least two quests in here. We've got at least data request. Hmm, chest. And we've got the oasis that we're gonna have to hit. Okay, so since well, actually we got let's uh, head over this way. Let's just see what the two over here are. Scanner's a lot more useful than I thought. Especially in some places like this. Ah, the trials. I forgot about them.
Okay, so let's actually uh, go in here and check these. I remember doing them, I just don't think I did them on camera. So we'll see how far we can go. change my programs. Uh, Plug-in chips. Let's see. I think I need to turn off auto dodge. That one. Just remove that for now. Blasted back. Yeah, that one's probably not going to be one I'm going to be able to do. See about some of the others. Get in here. You know better than me to just run into a wall. Your combat unit. You're supposed to run through the wall. You know, for the longest time I had an issue getting in there.
AK Ar Archive. Nice. There we go. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Better record the coordinates. Okay. Notice that tower. Quickly chat with this guy here. Eh, guess not. Just have missed in this place. I guess the uh, item radar is definitely paying off now. I don't know what that beam is. Okay. Uh... Let's see, where am I? Really wish it would put me in where my character is for these. Okay, so that's all data analysis. That's good. Right here. Okay. Realistically, I can just teleport from the center, but... Yeah, I'm close enough. Plus factor might be one of those big guys when I pop through here. Hmm, I just want to sell another item over here. Oh, there's another item chest. Quite a bit of items, evidently. Oh, there's another one. We'll grab that one and we'll come back.
That's an R5. guy here? Nope. Oh. Did I miss another chest over right here too? I'm missing them everywhere. Why did all these people live together way back then, huh? Such living arrangements were due to a lack of available land in metropolitan areas. They ran out of space? How strange. How is that possible when there's so much of it out there? Uh, population, population, population. That one was cleverly hid. If it wasn't for the radar, I wouldn't have caught that one. Knock that off. This should be enough. What do we have? Broken toys, dirty ledgers, small shoes. Pod, take a photo of this junk and send it to Operator 210. Affirmative. Operator 210 to 9S. Hello, Operator. How can I help you? I've received your data. Great. Does it seem useful? That depends on what I do with it. Oh, all right. It is, however, fascinating. I was aware that humans used to live in groups, but I did not know they coexisted in such a wide variety of ways. I'm sure you're aware that most humans subsisted in small familial units. Uh, familial? A family is a group of people that share a connection by blood or social custom. If androids had a similar system of families... <laughs> Operator? Are you there? I've said too much. I must return to my duties. And she disconnected me. Um... I have additional information to relate. I've sent mail with a reward. Please read it. And 9S? Thank you. Man, she disconnected me again. Well, if she's thanking me, I guess it must have gone okay. 
Not only um, did she disconnect right? you again. Purpose of question unknown. She called you back just to disconnect you again. Hmm. A one ten slow. Type four O blade, nice. At least one weapon. Uh... Okay, so let's, uh, uh, weapon. Well, there's the Type 4 O blade. Hmm. Ah. So that's a pod program. Good to know. Okay. So, let's uh, figure out where we're going to go to next. Uh, that's done. That's the trial I can't really f succeed at because oh, I'll work at it. That's. Uh, Photograph there. Oh, hey, I have access to the jungle and stuff again. Ooh. Are you actually going to give me? Yep, yeah, passcodes with runes. No, you're not going to give me access to it. Huh. Tease. Okay. Uh, park rooms it is. I can get another photograph here, then we'll head to Pascal's village. No, actually, we might not, because uh, we're slowly running out of time. This place looks familiar. Oh, right. It's from that woman's photograph. I'll be sure to get her the coordinates. So I, in theory, have one left. Okay. And that one is in the jungle. Still can't do anything with those. Should probably sell off a chunk of my copper ore. You know what, let's head back to the resistance camp, see what kind of weapons we can upgrade, or... I suppose I'll just head to Pascal's village, because I'm going to do everything there anyways. Okay.
I'm going to just see what kind of weapons I can upgrade, and we'll go from there. Up weapon upgrades. I'm gonna have to find a lot more stuff. Probably gonna have to go find out where I can farm some of this stuff. Okay. So from here, I think we'll call it a, call it an episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you all next time.